in 2016, I went in for routine lab work and um, I was getting my hormone levels checked and they did a full panel and then realized that I had something going on with my kidneys, that the function wasn't what it should have been. And they referred me to a nephrologist who did kidney biopsy and a lot of lab work. And it came back as IgA nephropathy, which is an autoimmune disease. Didn't know I had it. Um, you know, never sick before, lived an active, healthy lifestyle. So um, at that point, they decided to put me on immunosuppressive medications, high doses of steroids to see if they could get any of the kidney function back and to calm all the inflammation down. Um, so we did that and that treatment um, lasted for about three years. And then in 2019, I uh, wasn't feeling so well and went to get labs pulled and they uh, called me, it was on a Friday and they said, we need you to go to the ER now. Uh, potassium level was really high basically the kidneys just weren't working. I mean, I guess I was down at that point to 12% kidney function. Um, so they uh, decided that it was time to refer me for transplant. Um, so yeah, so they sent me to the Mayo Clinic and, uh, and this is kind of where the process started. So I went through evaluations and at some point we did a social media post um, that just kind of told people, what was going on. Some of my close friends knew. Um, and then within the running community, I try not to get emotional, but I always do. Um, one of my friends who was a girl that ran with me for several years before we were friends and she stepped forward and was the second person to test for me and was a match. And so, yeah, her name is Courtney Bullock. And, um, and so this, the, Evaluations were started in December of 2019, and by March 4th of 2020, I was, um, we were doing the, the transplant. Um, and so, yeah, so we did the transplant, and she recovered really well. I recovered really well. Um, we, um, I guess nowadays, we do kidney anniversaries. Um, on March 4th every year. And so we've done the Grand Canyon together, hiked down and back out. We did that the first year. And then the second year we did a hundred K bike ride because we were training for a half Ironman. So we did a half Ironman together. Um, and then last year we did a 35 mile run at the jackpot ultras in Vegas. Um, I always tease her like she's trying to kill me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And then this year she wants to, she wants to go to Moab and do base jumping or something like that. So yeah, we both stay active together. We, um, yeah, we still run together when we can and, um, and life is much better. And I, um, after, I guess after kind of recovering from the kidney transplant, I was part of the transplant community Alliance in here in Phoenix. And, and they had an opportunity for somebody to come in and take over a position where somebody left. And so I now work at the Transplant Community Alliance. So I'm in the world and yeah, it's, it's, it's so gratifying and it's, you know, it's a path I never thought that I would go down, but here I am. And it's, it's, it's wonderful. The people I've met, the connections I've made um, and yeah, and being part of the, of the community that, you know, it just, it felt so small. And so now it's, I, I feel like it's bigger than, than it, I thought it was. There's a lot of people who've, who've had, you know, have stories and have gone through situations and transplants. And so it's just nice to be out here involved in all of it. Oh goodness. I think the, the support that I had, um, at home. So I have a great, great network at home. I have two kids. I have a 19 year old now and, and 16 year old daughter. So son and a daughter. Um, and I think that they were very supportive and, um, yep. Um, 
spouse and, and then just my friend network. They're, you know, they're all there and, you know, everybody just seemed to, you know, to always cheer me up when I wasn't feeling my best or if I was frustrated with anything, they were just there. And, and then I think also having been active, the recovery was just a lot smoother than what I thought it was going to be. And so that helped a bunch. As long as I could get up and get back out, that's all that I wanted to do. Yeah, so I definitely embraced the importance of organ donation. I, I mean, it, you know, I had a, a living donor and I'm very fortunate for that, but um, just organ donation in general, I, I think is so important. And I see it change people's lives all the time. Um, my daughter and I both have the uh, license plates for organ donation. So we try to try to put that out there. We try to, um, you know, participate in our OPO. And then of course I work in the transplant community. And so being part of the Chris Plug Foundation who really tries to put the word out there is so special and so powerful. And I'm just, I'm so thankful to have heard about the organization. And then it also, you know, I look at all the people involved in it and everybody is just so positive and so active and that's really inspiring. Mm 